it's Brittany and hopefully it is long time no see because I intend for this video to come right on the tails of my whip update that um, for, for I guess the month of April just about uh, but this video I cut off from that one because I knew that one was going to be a long one and uh, this one is going to be all about my stitch mania plans I was really hesitant about making the decision to join stitch mania um, not the group, but the event this year. I had done it last year and only, I think, finished five of my previous projects and just was really, really worried about having, you know, another 10 extra whips on top of those and the ones that I had started outside of Mania last year. I think I have around 20 whips right now. 30 just seemed like entirely too many for me. So I was trying to figure out a compromise. So what I've decided to do is that for each finish from last year's Stitch Mania, I will get to start a new piece. So if I started a piece on the 1st of May that I finished last year, I get to start something new. However, if I started something on a certain date last year, that was not finished, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that whip out and work on it. So I'll get five new starts, but I'll also be making some progress on the whips that I did last year. And I think this could be a good way to keep it going from year to year and see some progress and see what got finished and what I really, you know, sank my teeth into and wanted to get finished. Um, so I'm really, I'm really pleased with that plan. Lord knows, especially after watching that last video, if, if you guys are watching them in that order uh, versus this one first, I have enough stuff at this point that I could have started. What with kits I haven't started yet too, I think I, I would be pretty close to at least one for each day of May, but I'm not going to do it. That's what I'm saying now, but I, I'm pretty sure I won't be doing that. Um, but I have my list here of what my plan starts are. So May 1st, uh, I'm gonna, to make this fun, I'm going to show you what I started and kind of where I got last year on all of these projects. And I'll show you a picture of that and then I'll show you either the new project I'm going to be doing or I'll show you where I am now on that project. So on May 1st of last year, I started a design called Keeper of My Heart by Scattered Seed Samplers. And um, it was a wedding gift for some friends of mine. You may remember it as the pattern in which the cats are wearing clothing. Well, of course, I finished that and gave it to them for their wedding, so I get to start something new on that day. And I decided to take advantage of Stitch Mania and start stitching up and working on some model pieces for some of my original designs. So my first is going to be Raptor's Love and I'm going to be stitching that on just some MCG Textiles 28 count even weave in antique white which as you maybe have heard is really more of an oatmeal color. Um, I think that will look nice versus on white just because there is white in the raptors and so it'll stand out a little bit better. Now on May 2nd of 2015 I started my epic Pokemon Generation 1 cross stitch and that is far from completed so I will be working on that again this year. Here's a picture of what it will look like when it's finished. As you can tell, it's going to be a big one, and I have a long way to go. As of now, I only have four of the Pokemon finished, and um, I believe that I finished this guy since I saw you last. Of course, I didn't show it in the last video because it was in my Mania pile, and it was second, so it was towards the bottom, the way I had it stacked. But I finished Charmander right here, this little litter little lizard guy. He's one of the first three Pokemon that you can uh, choose from at the very beginning of your Pokemon journey in the original games. And um, he's a fire lizard. You can't tell because his tail is behind his older brother, but his tail has a little flame at the top of it. And he's very, very cute. He evolves into Charizard, which is one of the most popular Pokemon, um, which you may have seen if even if you're not into Pokemon. 
But I'll be working on that again, and I'll be starting the next one, which is Charmeleon, um, his evolution. Um, now, on May 3rd of last year, I started, and technically it wasn't a start, but it was a start for me because I was stitching on it for the first time, but I started Barnyard Quilts, The Ducks. Um, this is the booklet. There are two patterns there, as you can see. There is the Barnyard Ducks and the Barnyard Chickens. And there are also these chickens here on the Now, I um, found this booklet and this whip in my mom's stuff. And we talked about it and she said there was a receipt with fat from a needlework store um, with a date on it. And she said, well, I mean, that's probably mine with the date. And so I said I would really like to finish it. And so this is as far as I got last year. Um, well, technically, last year I got, well, oh, yeah, I think this, this is as far as I got last year. And when I started, it had only a, a part of the quilt border and maybe the blue and green on one of these star points. I'll see if I can find a picture and put that in if I have the motivation to. <laughs> That'll be May 3rd. Now, May 4th last year, I started the Petite Rainbow Row piece, which is finished and framed in my parents', my parents house. That was a birthday present for my mom. Uh, again, that's Petite Rainbow Row by C&W Designs, and it's, it was stitched on a 32-count water lily linen. And uh, because that was finished, I get to start something new, and it just so happens to be May the 4th, and I actually forgot about this until I was watching Jess Marie's video earlier. She reminded me, and so I switched things around. But I get to start my Star Wars Sugar Skulls on May the 4th. Perfect timing, if you ask me. Here's a picture of what they will look like all together. They are just from a, a store on Etsy, and I hate that I don't know what it is off the top of my head. But you better believe I will have a caption, and I will have it linked down below. I am going to be maybe stitching them all on one piece, uh, possibly stitching them all, giving them a little room for framing just in case I want to cut them apart. But the fabric I'm using is a 32 count dusk, if I picture this plus. It is a really gorgeous dark. Um, I thought it looked like space, and I'm going to be stitching them all in just B5200, a lot of white. Kind of like my Harry Potter wedding sampler that I'm doing is also a lot of white. Hopefully I won't be sick of that. <clears throat> the goal for this piece would be to hopefully get it done by October to be a gift for my friend who really likes Star Wars, but we'll see. Um, now May 5th of last year I started a kit. It's a gold collection, Petites by Dimension, um, and it's called Napping Kitten. This is what it looks like. And this is where I got last year. Um, which may or may not be the same as where it is now. I forget. I think it's the same. So this is where I'm at, just some little stripey fur. I believe that is all that I got to on May 5th of 2015. So I'll be working on this one again, May 5th, this year. Next is May 6th. Surprise, surprise, it's another cat. Um, this is the Warm and Fuzzy Kitten by Dimensions. My sister got this as a birthday present for me for um, I believe in 2015, once I was really into cross-stitch. It's a really sweet little kitten, sitting in the sun. You can really tell that he would be warm and fuzzy. And so, this is where I got last year on the piece. Again, just some stripey fur going on. 
be working on that one again. This piece made a cameo in my Let It Go video. I'm not letting it go, don't worry. I do plan to continue stitching it. But it was fun to have a, a piece on black that I could use for that. Um, <clears throat> on May 7th, I started a Pokemon Electabuzz. This is as far as I got. And I'll put in a picture of what the completed Pokemon will look like. And just a reminder, these Pokemon are going to be gifts for my friend Tommy. I finished four out of six of the Pokemon for him. So here's Electabuzz. I'll be working on him May 7th. May 8th was Quilava, another Pokemon who will look like this. as far as I got on him last year, and I'll work on him again this year. I only have two Pokemon left to stitch for Tommy. I really should make him stitch them himself, now that he's stitching. He could do it. <laughs> and uh, May 9th, I worked on Be Joyful, which is the Design Works kit. Design Works Heartfelt kit. This is what it will look like when finished. Just love those colors on that bluebird. And this is as far as I got last year. I got the, the bottom of his, uh, I got his belly and his feet. So I'll work on that one again this year on May 9th. Now May 10th, I had started stitching my hot stuff pattern again last year. And this is it finished. And um, I completed that, as you can see, so that means I get a new start this year. And this is another one of my original patterns in that same series of hot stuff. In that same series is hot stuff. This is Give Me Some Sugar. And like all of the patterns in that series, I'm stitching it on uh, an MCG Textiles 28 count mushroom lugana. That's May 10th, and May 11th I started another cat cross stitch, which is Ebony and Ivory. This is what it is going to look like. I just think that's beautiful. For someone who loves music and cats, it's like the perfect cross stitch. And this is where I got last year. I think it goes that way. That's the, um, the white cats under the chin, I think. That one will be fun to get started down again. Just going through these, it just makes me realize again how many wonderful projects I have and how much I love them all, but I just don't have the time to work on them all. I could try a rotation, I suppose. <laughs> um, so I mentioned in my latest whip update, there's Danny. She's jumping up into her window. This is Fluffy Tail. I call it a raccoon tail because it has stripes on it. Um, anyway, I mentioned that there was one more booklet that I bought from eBay, and uh, I saw this and I had to order it. It's called Wild and Weird. It's another Mary Ellen Yanich uh, designs, uh, published by Jeanette Cruz Designs Incorporated. Um, so this one is uh, called Wild and Weird, and it is all of these kind of rare animals. You have a possum, an anteater, an armadillo, um, a hippo, a walrus, a monkey, some lemurs, an ostrich, a llama. But the reason I got this is for this little guy down here. That is a Coatamundi, or just a Coati, and my sister takes care of those at the zoo. And I thought, how often do you see a cross stitch of this animal? I have to buy it. So I got it, and I'm starting this right away because I was so excited about it. And um, I'm actually going to be stitching this one and this one over here. This is a cacto missile or a ring-tailed cat or a miner's cat. It has several different names. You can find both of these kind of in the American Southwest. This one for sure in the American Southwest. This one in um, more so in uh, Latin America, like uh, Mexico and um, down below the border. 
and uh, I actually um, have a great piece of fabric that I believe, according to my calculations, will fit both of them. I have this 36 count dill. Um, it was a pre-cut fabric at Lynn's, uh, the LNS I went to in Madison, and um, it's a 32 count, so I think they both will fit on here. I think it would look really nice to either frame them both or somehow finish them so that she could hang them on her wall. In her part of the zoo has both the ring-tailed cat and the kuati. So that was pretty exciting to find them. And I showed it to her. I couldn't keep it a surprise because I was so excited that it had her, her critters on there. And um, then I was like, oh, well, which ones would you want me to stitch? And she's like, I really like all of them. So who knows, maybe I'll stitch all of them again too in the future. Um, but I'm really pleased about my fabric choice for that. Um, I think especially for the kawadi, the reds and the rusty browns are going to look really nice on it. And it's got kind of a safari, you know, khaki wilderness kind of feel to it. So I think that will look nice. Now that is May 12th. I forgot to say, last year, the reason I get to start this new project is because I started another Pokemon, and that was Go Goat, and I finished it. It looks like this. And then, of course, this year, I'm going to start the Kawadi. Um, May 13th was another Pokemon, which also is finished now, and that is Hone Edge. It looks like this. And this year I'm starting a new project on that day because I finished the one from last year. And that is my Country Cottage Needleworks In the Meadow. Can say there, see there it says In the Meadow We Can Build a Snowman. And this picture is interesting. It might be a dye-lot thing, but I got the recommended fabric, and it looks a lot darker to me. So this fabric that I'm doing it on is a 30-count Weeks Dye Works. It's called Scuppernog. Scuppernong. And it's just a little darker green here than it is in the picture. And um, to go with that, I, I bought the required threads, or the recommended threads, and um, well, all but one that I had to substitute. I had to substitute a black, because she didn't have the classic Colorworks black at the other needlework store I went to, but these are the other colors that I'll be using. There's only four colors in it. Oops. So that one should be fun. I think it's going to look really nice. This one is supposed to, um, I think I'm going to stitch it up as a gift for my grandma who loves snowmen. Back when I picked out this pattern, that was what it was for, so we'll see how far I get on it this year. I'm excited to start that one too because it's been in my stash for a little while. Now we're getting close to the end. May 14th, I started another Design Works heartfelt kit called Have Faith. It's in the same series as that Be Joyful one. And last year, I got this much done. Some more bird feet and a little bit of the lettering. I almost tried to pick that off because I thought it was a stray. Um, <laughs> I thought it was a stray piece of floss there, but it is the lettering for the word "have." So I'll be working on that one May fourteenth. And then May fifteenth, the last day that I'm planning to do this Stitch Mania thing. Um, last year I started my chocolate bunny sampler. This is what it will look like. It's by Casey Buonagurio. I just think that is so cute. It makes me so hungry for chocolate. And uh, I started that one last year. It's being stitched on a piece of 32 count Sprite Lugana. I picture this plus. And this is as far as I got last year. So I got that pink band there in the middle done and the start of the eggs. You cannot see very well in this lighting. But I mentioned in my last video that I bought a piece of Sprite linen, and this is purpler. Purpler, more purple, purplier. I'm gonna say more purple is probably the most grammatically correct way to say that. 
But the Lucana is more purple, I think. Just interesting. I don't necessarily have the desire to dye my own fabric. I think it would be interesting, but I, I mean, I do think it's, it would be interesting to see how the different fabrics take dye differently. Um, just do a little experimenting that way. And that's the last of them. <laughs> that is all of the whips and starts I'll be working on for Stitch Mania. I hope you've enjoyed listening to my plans. I certainly have enjoyed listening to all of your plans. I, it was my impetus for making this video and my previous video today is I just, I was getting so excited and it's only a week until Stitch Mania starts. I was like, oh gosh, I better get my plans up so everyone can be on the lookout for what I'm working on. And, uh, I really wanted to be a part of Stitch Mania again this year because I was part of the original one last year. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see everyone else's new starts and, and or whips or whatever you decide to work on. I know it's, it's Stitch Mania originally was 15 new starts the first 15 days of May. But it evolved into working on 15 different whips in 15 days. You know, it's any kind of manic version of stitching that you could do is in Stitch Mania. So um, if you want to join, you're more than welcome. Find the Stitch May, M-A-Y-N-I-A, -A, Stitch Mania group on Facebook. Everyone there is super nice. You can join in the fun. And uh, I would love to see your progress and love to hear your plans. So as far as life updates go, I promised last video I'd try and put some things in. I'm back in New York. I am... Um, Drove a long way with Danny. She's back. We're both here safe. And I'm working back at my painting place again starting this weekend, so that's exciting. My voice is not feeling great, especially after filming both of these videos today. I'm really hoping I can chalk it up to allergies because, it, of course, it's getting warmer. It's getting hot tonight. Um, and so I think things are blooming, and I'm hoping that's what it's going to be. Uh don't know if I have anything else to add. Do you have any questions about life in general or any of my stitching plans? Hey Danny, are you going to lay down on that pillow? Look who it is. Look who it is. It's my beautiful kitty. I'm going to come up and say hi. I'm going to make you do it. So we got here safely. Me and this beautiful baby who's not happy that I'm holding her, apparently. Um, sorry, you're a cat. You gotta do what I want you to. Um, anyway, we made it here safe. I don't really have anything else to update you on, I don't think. Nothing on the horizon as far as performances and shows go. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. So, it was nice chatting with you guys. I hope you enjoyed both of these videos. I hope it gave you lots of company to stitch with, both of the furry kind. <laughs> Cats are weird. They can be so moody. Um, both of the, the furry kind and the ginger kind. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful mania. I can't wait to see what the mania brings to floss tube and to stitch mania. So. With that, I'll let you guys go, move on to somebody else, and continue stitching. I hope to see you again sooner rather than later. I always say that, but it's not ever true. <laughs> we'll see if I can change that this time. Um, I love all of you, and I hope that you all get some great stitchy progress. And those of you that are doing it, have a great mania. I said it three times probably now, so I better just cut myself off and say goodbye.